I want to welcome everyone out to a quick word. Uh, it's a privilege to have you here worshiping God with us. Uh, and uh, we're here at Restoration Life in Puyallup. And uh, we're just here getting a hold of God and uh, seeing the power of God move in a mighty way, just uh, uh, waiting for revival. And, and we're seeing little glimpses of it. We're seeing God uh, just do some powerful things. Uh, praise God. So welcome everyone out uh, this evening. Uh, uh, we're excited here at Restoration Life. Uh, what God is doing, what God's about to do. Um, like I said, we had a packed house yesterday. So I am excited. I'm excited what God is doing. And uh, it's amazing how our paths cross with people and their paths cross with other people and their paths cross with other people. And before you know it, God's building a church. Um, so I want to encourage you tonight and I want to really pray, get a hold of God. And how many know we live in a crazy world? We live in a crazy world. There, this, I'm serious. This is craziness. Uh, we have pandemics, we have vaccines, we have all kinds of stuff going on all around us right now. And uh, battles are real. Uh, I know someone uh, that lost a loved one, they were mentioning how COVID is real, uh, and it is. But I wanna tell you, we have a, a savior, we have a God, we have the almighty Lord that loves us, that cares about us and strengthen us. Uh, but I want to challenge you to fight the fight tonight. I want to challenge you uh, to stay pumped up, uh, to uh, uh, draw nearer to Jesus, uh, but get the excitement of the gospel inside of you. How many know Christians need excitement? Uh, they, they need the excitement. They need the fire of the Holy Spirit. And I'm not talking about walking around with uh, uh, pom-poms and cheering. Oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. But an excitement about your salvation. I'm saved. God's doing something in my life. God is doing something in the lives of the people around me. So there is power in salvation and there's power in the joy of the Lord. There, there's power that comes from that. But I want to tell you, during your walk with Christ, can I tell you something? You're going to experience battles. You're going to experience fights. Now I want you to listen closely. In, in a boxing match, and I, I'm thinking about Roberto Duran when he, when he's fighting and, and uh, he's getting beat up pretty bad. I, and I believe it was Sugar Ray Leonard. And as he's getting beat up, he just waves his hand, no mas, no mas, and his corner throws in the towel and he's done. And so that's one of the things that uh, uh, modern boxing can do is you get in there when your boxer's getting beat up too much uh, and you go to the corner Instead of getting back into the fight, instead of getting back to the center of the ring and, and, and continuing to fight, what you can do, what your corner does, it throws in the towel. And so by throwing in the towel, your corner or you, you're saying, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm done. I'm beat up. I can't see my face, but I can feel my face. I mean, when you can feel your face. You're pretty beat up. And so... Uh, the fighter says, you know what, that's it, I'm done, no more, throw in the towel, they throw in the towel, I quit, I lose, I'm done. But there's another phrase that I want you to consider with me tonight that comes also from the boxing world, and this is from the old boxing world. So in the good old days, uh, it used to be that spectators at a boxing match would be invited to come out of the stands uh, and have a go at one of the pros. So could you imagine that you're sitting there and, and, and the boxer, he gets done, he's a champion, and you wanna take on the champion. You want one round with the champion. You think you're that tough, you think you're that good, you think you'll give him a run for his money. So in that noisy, smoke-filled arena, some courageous man would come make it official by throwing his hat into the ring. And so the only way to get, get that back was to step onto the canvas and take on the champion. So you thought you could do it, you would take off your hat and you would throw it in there to accept a challenge uh, from which you could not back down. Once that challenge was made, uh, 
you had to get up there and you had to make your stand and you had to fight. Uh, how many know where I'm going with this? Every day, in every area of your life that matters, uh, you hold in your hand uh, a hat and in the other hand, you hold a towel. And each day, by your actions, by your attitudes, uh, you're either going to throw in the towel or you're going to throw your hat into the ring and say, let's get it on, devil. I'm ready to fight the fight. I'm ready to contend. Each day, it's either your towel or your hat. You're either going to run away from the fight you're going to run away from the battle, or you're going to throw in your hat. You're going to say, let's get it on. It was David that uh, threw in the hat when Goliath was challenging him. He said, let's get it on. Who does this uncircumcised giant sinner think he is? And he throws in the towel. He goes in there and gets the victory. Listen to me. He got the victory not only for himself. He got the victory for his nation. And I want to tell you, when you fight, you're not just battling for you. You're battling for heaven. Heaven rejoices at, at, uh, because he, God has already called you and I victorious. He said, you're more than conquerors. He goes, uh, he goes I just want to see your faith stirred and know that you can defeat the, the, the battle that you're in. You can have victory over this challenge. You've already won. It just takes faith to accept it. So I want to ask you this, this evening, which will it be today? And I hope that it's your hat. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 10.36, you need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what He has promised. In, in 2 Corinthians uh, uh, chapter 12, verse 10, the Bible says, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and needs and persecutions and distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life, uh, to which you were also called and had confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. He says, we've already confessed it. Now let's stand in faith and fight the good fight. Throw in your hat and say, come on, devil, let's do battle. Uh, you know what? You know why we know we can feel good walking into the arena? It's because we know we're already victorious. We know we've already won. And that's what I'm hoping to do is to stir up your confidence that you are more than conquerors. Start taking your place in this in your walk of life. Quit getting pushed around. Quit getting bullied. Get in the face of the devil and tell him, you know what? Let's get it on. I'm ready to fight the fight. God is with me and with me. With God, all things are possible to them that believe. And also, actually, the one I was meaning, he that is within me is greater than he that is in the world. So stay encouraged. Get stirred up. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon you. And, and, and be confident in this one thing that he who has begun a work in you is going to finish it. Uh, listen, he's not going to give up on you. And I hope tonight uh, it stirs you. That you're ready to turn in, throw in your towel, I mean your, your hat, and say, you know what? I'm ready for the battle. Let's get it on. So I want to take a moment. I want to pray to God to stir our hearts, uh, to stir up the excitement and the fire of the Holy Spirit. Uh, that we can be like Jeremiah. It's so shut up down in my bones. I can't, uh, I can't escape it. I can't contain it. I, I got to let it out. Uh, so, Father, we pray right now, God. Uh, Lord, uh, you have made us more than conquerors. And I pray tonight, uh, God, that you will stir up the courage that is inside of us us, my God. Stir up the courage, my God, that we will fight the fight, that we will throw in our hat and say, you know what, let's get it on. Let's do battle. For he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I am ready to fight. Oh, Father, I pray tonight, God, stir up Holy Ghost 
fire. Uh, stir up the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, God, we are ready, my God. Uh, bring forth revival, my God. Uh, bring forth revival to our church. Uh, Bring forth revival to our nation. Oh, Father God, I pray, God, bring forth revival to the nations of the world. Father, we are ready, my Lord, to conquer, my God. We are ready, Lord, to take on the battles of the enemy. Oh, Father, I pray tonight, God, that you will stir the hearts of your people. Everyone that's listening now. On this podcast tonight, God, stir their hearts. Uh, Everyone that's here live tonight, uh, stir their hearts. Uh, Oh, Father God, we just need you, Lord. We need a a stirring of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Just like you gave them a second dose of the Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 4, I pray tonight, uh, give us another dose uh, of the Holy Ghost, my God. Oh, Father, we are desperate, God, uh, for the Holy Spirit. We are desperate uh, for the things of God, my Lord. Uh, Oh, Father, I just thank you, my God, uh, for your goodness and your grace, my God, in Jesus' name. uh, Amen and amen. Praise God. Uh, I want to tell you, I'm excited. I hope you share this. I think this will stir a lot of people's heart. Uh, And I want to take a a moment while we got the fire of the Holy Ghost going through right now. I want to agree with Sandy Carlson right now for her son, Jason. And we want to pray for deliverance uh, from mental illness, uh, heroin abuse, and homelessness. Uh, Let's pray right now. Let's bind the powers of darkness uh, that are uh, elevating themselves against the knowledge of God. Let's take every thought into captivity and cast it down right now by the power and the blood of Jesus. Uh, And let's pray that God will give him a moment uh, of of, of sanity, uh, that he can make a decision uh, to give his life uh, to Christ. Just like the demoniac uh, uh, at the tomb, he's running around naked, he's running around all crazy, and, and he comes, he actually runs to Jesus, he wants deliverance, he wants to be set free, and, and 6,000 demons couldn't hold him back from crying out to Jesus, and Father, we're praying right now, God, that Jason, my God, will get this opportunity, give him a moment, my God, Give him a moment of consciousness, God, that he can make a decision, God, to turn to you, Lord, to serve you with all his heart, with all his might, with all his soul, and with all his strength. Father, we are agreeing with Sandy Carlson tonight for her son, God, that you would help him and strengthen him and deliver him, my God, by the power of In the blood of Jesus, oh, Father, we are desperate tonight, and we're believing, God, for complete deliverance for Jason, my God, in the name of Jesus, amen and amen, hallelujah. I also want to agree with Francine for her grandson, and uh, Anthony, and so we want to believe with Francine, he has cataracts, he had it in one eye, and then all of a sudden it jumps to the other eye, and how many know God's going to heal him, God's going to touch that young man, we're going to agree with Francine right now, so Francine, if you agree with us, get a hold of God for her grandson Anthony, so Father, we're coming in prayer right now for Anthony, God, oh Father, I pray right now, Lord, I come against her. God, this this thing that's causing these cataracts in his eye. Father God, we cast down that partial blindness. I pray, God, that you will restore his eyesight by the power in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Father, bring healing, God. Bring restoration to his eyes, my God, that he will receive his eyesight completely, Lord. I pray right now. By the power in the blood of Jesus, uh, Father, I'm contending the Holy Spirit to begin to touch uh, and begin to heal right now, my God. uh, As we come into agreement with Francine, my Lord, uh, you are good and your mercy endures forever. And I'm believing you, my God, that you're going to touch this little boy's eyes uh, and completely heal him, my God. In Jesus' name, uh, amen and amen. Praise God. And so he did have surgery today. So we're going to pray for a speedy recovery. And we're going to pray that it's completely healed by the power and the blood of Jesus. I want to take a moment. There's people on here. You just need a touch of God. And so in a moment, we're going to be praying. And I want you to 
uh, 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 put your hand on your chest, put your hand on your forehead, whatever. But I, I want to tell you, the power of God is so real. The Holy Spirit is so real. Listen, we had a, 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 a couple yesterday that came to church. They were in their late 80s, very frail couple. They came uh, and, and uh, I asked for people that were sick uh, and so forth. Then she came up. She came up. Uh, she said she, she was partially deaf in both ears. Uh, and, and so then my wife and I, we, we just begin to pray for her, lay hands on her. And she gets slain in the spirit. I mean, she's, she, she's feeling this. Uh, and, and afterwards, I'm asking, I'm talking to her. And she goes, I haven't felt the Holy Spirit like that in years. She goes years, and she's gone to church after church, and, and they've tried different things. Uh, but I want to say it's not our church. Uh, it's just the presence of God was here. Uh, and, and when you have the presence of God, it's contagious. Uh, people want it. Uh, I want to tell you, she was touched. Uh, she left out of here a different person. Uh, so tonight, maybe you just need a touch of God. Uh, maybe tonight you just need a, a little bit of the Holy Ghost to come and to touch you and to stir you. I want you to either put your hand on your forehead, put your hand on your chest. But Father, we pray right now, Holy Spirit, begin, God, to move upon every person, my God. God, that desires you, that is desiring a touch of heaven right now. God, you would touch them. God, I pray an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. God, right now, Lord, through these landlines, through this Wi-Fi, through this... Uh, 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 I pod right now, God, through this uh, podcast right now, you begin to touch the people of God. Father, I pray a uh, uh, Holy Spirit to breathe upon them, my God. Breathe upon them, my God, by the power uh, in the blood of Jesus. Uh, oh, Father God, I pray, God, rekindle fires uh, on here right now. Rekindle fires, Lord. Uh, let the Holy Spirit uh, begin to touch uh, and breathe on your people right now, Lord. Uh, oh, Father God, uh, there are so many needs on here right now, and it all starts uh, from a touch of the Holy Spirit. Uh, oh, Father God, one touch of the Holy Spirit, uh, and lives will be changed. Uh, lives will be transformed. Uh, oh, Father, I pray right now, Holy Spirit, begin to touch. Uh, Holy Spirit, begin to move. Uh, Holy Spirit, begin to be poured out uh, and touched. Uh, oh, Father, right now, rekindle the fire of the Holy Spirit uh, inside every person, my God. I'm praying right now, and I'm agreeing, God. God, I'm agreeing, God, uh, for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and I'm agreeing right now, you'll begin to activate gifts, my God. Activate gifts, my Lord. Oh, Father, I pray, activate those prophets that are listening or will be listening on this podcast. Stir up and open up. I pray right now, activate the gift of prophecy. Activate the gift of interpretation. God, activate the gift of healing, my God. Oh, Father, I pray, God, that you'll begin to activate the gift of hospitality, my God. And I pray, God, uh, even so, right now, activate the gift of encouragement. Uh, God, let us be encouragers. Uh, let us encourage the people of God. Oh, Father, I pray right now, uh, by the power in the blood of Jesus, God, I thank you. Uh, and I praise you, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. I, 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 I've used this illustration in one church, uh, but I want to tell you, that there was a, a fire in South America, and, and, and uh, the United States had offered to go help them because uh, uh, thousands upon thousands of acres have burned down, and, and uh, uh, South America, you know, they said, no, no, we don't need your help. We'll figure it out. Uh, and so they, they, they put the fire out, and, and they were rejoicing and happy, and it was out for about a month and a half, two months. Uh, but when the uh, uh, windy season came in, what they failed to do and what they failed to realize uh, is that the fire was actually traveling through the roots underground. So it wasn't visible to the naked eye, 
But when the winds came and swept through and began to stir things, the fire began to magnify once again. And it was actually twice as big as when it began. And I want to tell you, there's some Christians, you're going to be watching this, you're watching it now, or you're going to be watching it, but all you need is to drop to your knees and begin to say, God, I need the Holy Spirit. God, I need some fire down into my soul. I want to tell you, this is not for people that want to be quiet and shy. I want to tell you, the Holy Ghost is loud. The Holy Ghost wants excitement. Listen, I don't understand these people that want to be silent and quiet. I don't know where they get that from. When the book of Acts came, the Bible says the place where they were at began to shake. A fire like cloven tongues came upon them, and they all began to speak in tongues loud. They were getting down. It was so loud and crazy and obnoxious and, and, and just a, a big old thing that people thought they were drunk. So it wasn't no quiet little, let's walk in and be quiet about it. No, they were making noise. It was a loud, boisterous thing because God was trying to do something to these Christians. Let's not be ashamed of who we are. Real God and our God answers prayer. Hallelujah. We need to get radical for Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. I want to tell you, there's radical religions out there, more radical than Christians. How about us Christians start beginning getting radical uh, and, and crazy for Jesus? Hallelujah. I want to take a moment. I really want to pray. And we did this. We took the time last week, and I want to take the time again for young people. I want to tell you, our teenagers are in trouble. Our teenagers, are, are the suicide rates are doubling. They have actually doubled already. They're almost tripling because of isolation, no school, uh, uh, and, and some places that no churches or churches uh, haven't started back up yet. And so they're all by themselves. Uh, video games will kill their brain cells. Uh, and they, they, how many know we need contact? Uh, we need fellowship. And so... Uh, in this particular article that I was uh, reading, I was talking about Las Vegas, how already over half uh, um, the suicides there is already twice as much as 2019. And the reason being is the kids feel like they're a burden to their parents and they don't want to be a burden. So they're just rather kill themselves. So I'm going to take a moment. I want to pray for these young people that God would help them. God will bless them. And God will will get a hold of them and draw them into a church. So, Father, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we pray, God, for our young people in our nation, God. We pray for the young people in our churches, Lord. Uh, I pray for them, my God, that you will get a hold of them, my God. God, that you will touch them and, and you will help them. You will draw them out to salvation, Father, I pray right now by the power in the blood of Jesus, God, that she shall move and intervene and help these young people. God, even the ones in our church, my God, let them know that they are loved. Let them know that we care about them. Let them know that they have a place of refuge. Oh, Father, I pray right now. I'm contending and praying for these young people, my God. God, that you're going to bless them, my God, and touch them and stir their hearts for the things of God. Oh, Father, I pray right now, God, in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, that you will make our churches, God, every church represented on here tonight, Make us a magnet to young people, Lord. Uh, oh, Father God, I pray, God, that you will make our churches a, a magnet. Make it attractive to them, my God. That something will draw them uh, to our churches uh, where we're able to impart into them. Uh, we're able to mentor them and disciple them and love them. Uh, oh, Father, I pray tonight, God, that you would help us, my God, to reach this young generation, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, amen and amen. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to close here in a moment, and I want to keep praying here with our people, but my computer's getting ready to die. Yeah, I know. I, I forgot to charge it. But uh, what I'm going to do is I want to pray. I want to agree with you. You have a need. You have a request. Oh, yeah. We want to pray for Patty, Patty Little. 
She's from the Restoration Church in Lawndale. And so uh, she just went through COVID. She survived COVID, but she's having some uh, issues with her breathing still in her heart. So we want to pray God will just heal, just God would, would help a, a speedy recovery there. And, and, and God will take away all the complications and bring complete healing to her lungs and to her heart. So, so if you all agree with me for Patty, Patty Little tonight, Father, we pray for Patty tonight. God, we pray the Holy Spirit will touch her and help her. Uh, Father, we pray right now, my God, that you will bring healing to her heart, uh, bring healing to her lungs. Uh, Father God, I pray for a speedy recovery to the damage that the COVID virus uh, did to her lungs and to her heart. Uh, I pray right now, God, your healing power, you are the restorer. You are the great physician, and I'm believing you tonight, God, that you're going to bring complete healing to her, my God, in the name of Jesus, uh, God, even as I'm saying the words, uh, and she begins to hear this, God, uh, you will restore her strength back to her, my God. Strengthen every muscle, every bone, my God, and bring restoration to her lungs uh, and to her heart, God, by the power and the blood of Jesus, God. We're believing you, Lord, that you're going to touch Patty, my God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. I also want to agree with Pastor Mike and Dita Marina for their daughter, Andrea, that God will just do a miracle there. They're still trying to figure out what's wrong, but how many know the great physician is a great healer? He can heal her. He can touch her. So, Father, we pray for Andrea right now. God, we pray the Holy Spirit will touch her. Holy Spirit, bring healing to her, my God, by the power in the blood of Jesus, God. You will bring healing, my Lord. Father God, you know what the doctors don't know. And God, because of that, God, we're speaking healing into her life right now. In the name of Jesus, God, if there's any damage or anything wrong with her heart, God, we pray, God, that you will bring complete healing, my God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. God, I'm believing you right now. We are speaking healing right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you and I praise you. So I want to take a moment. I want to agree with you. You have a need. You have a request. I want you just to voice it out and uh, just to agree. I'm agreeing with you right now. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we're coming in agreement uh, with every person, God, that has a need, that is listening to uh, uh, this podcast, this live uh, video right now, or if they're in this room right now, God, I am agreeing with them for their prayer request. Uh, I am believing you right now, my God, that you're going to answer every prayer, uh, every request that has been brought to you right now, my God. You're even moving right now. Father, you are shifting heaven right now to answer prayers. Uh, oh, Father God, you are dispatching angels, my God. Uh, to overcome the enemy, my God, and release the answers uh, that you have for your people uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus. Uh, God, that you shall move. Uh, you will intervene by your power and by your grace. Begin to touch uh, and begin to heal. Begin to minister, God. Father, I speak pay raises to people fa facing financial difficulties right now. Father, I pray right now, God, God, I pray for financial blessing to those in need. God, that, that sinners will come and bring money and lay it on Christians' laps by the power and the blood of Jesus. God, I'm believing you that you will use sinners to bless the saints. Oh, Father, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I pray that you'll open up jobs, open up positions for men and women of God seeking employment. Oh, Father, by the power and the blood of Jesus, I pray for needs to be met, every need to be met, my God. I pray for backslidden children right now. Father, I pray that you will draw them back into the kingdom of God. Father, I claim their souls right now in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no right to them. The blood has paid for their sins also. And we break the chains tonight. And I pray, God, that you will draw them back to salvation in the name of Jesus. And I pray tonight, God, just the Holy Spirit, God, to begin to bless your people, my God. 
Oh, Father, I really feel there's people uh, even listening now, God, uh, that are fighting depression. Uh, God, just fighting oppression. Uh, God, fighting fear, my God. Uh, fighting, my God, the heaviness uh, that the world tries to put uh, on their shoulders. Uh, Father, right now we lift those burdens off, my God, and we release the peace of God. Father, I speak the fruit of the Spirit uh, unto the people of God. I release joy. Uh, I release peace. Uh, I release love. Uh, I release long-suffering. Uh, I release right now a sound mind. Uh, Oh, Father God, give us uh, the peace of heaven, my God, uh, which surpasses all understanding, God. Uh, we believe you, my God, uh, that you're just going to bring healing and peace uh, to the people of God. Uh, Father, and I thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, amen and amen. And I do want to agree with Sister Carmen. Carmen, happy birthday. It was her birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, sister. We love you. Uh, uh, you're just a wonderful woman of God. Uh, but we want to pray for her niece, Lisa Gonzalez. She's a pastor from Victorville. She needs a miracle. She's fighting COVID in ICU. So, Father, we pray for uh, Pastor Lisa Gonzalez right now. Father, we pray, God, against this COVID infection. I pray right now, God, that you will strengthen her antibodies, God. God, you will strengthen her antibodies completely, God, to begin to fight this infection, begin to fight the pneumonia, begin to Fight this thing that's trying to destroy her life uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus. I'm agreeing with Carmen right now for Pastor Lisa Gonzalez. God, bring healing, God, uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus. You are the good, good Father, Lord. Uh, you love her and you care about her, my God. And I, I am tired, my Lord, of this COVID uh, infection virus having its way. Uh, I bind it right now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Uh, oh, Father, I pray just strengthen her antibodies uh, to be able to fight this virus, my, my God, by the power in the blood of Jesus. God, I thank you and I praise you. Yeah, I want to also close in as in closing for Lanny or Roscoe. Just God will strengthen her and encourage her. This is a, a, a Pastor Coney Orozco's wife. He just passed away uh, a week ago. So we want to pray that God will just strengthen her and comfort her. So God, we, we just pray, God, that you will comfort Lanny. Uh, God, you would bless her and touch her and minister to her, my Lord. Uh, help her through this time of grief, my God. Uh, and I pray just make her strong, God, uh, and meet every single need that arises in her life. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. So I want to I want to stay on here, but I want to thank everyone that logged on tonight. Please share this. Uh, share it. Just hit your share button on there. Maybe you've never shared anything. But I really feel this will be encouraging, uh, especially the first part of it, the, the message part of it, uh, the quick word. Uh, I believe that it will help other people out there. So I love you guys. Uh, we'll be praying for you. Pray for us. Uh, God's doing some great things here in Puyallup. Uh, and we appreciate you guys. Everybody have a blessed night. Uh, amen.